hi guys so today i'm going to show you how i achieved this look so my hair is just so dry and so brittle so i decided to go back black i don't have any petroleum jelly so i'm going to be using olive oil to coat the perimeter of my hair and my ears to keep the dye from staining my skin i'm going to be using the revlon color silk in black it comes with color developer um conditioner and then these gloves and they're in the instructions i guess to make you uh read them <laughs> use your scissors to cut the tip off of the developer and then you're going to pour all of the color into the developer and shake it vigorously until you get to the um, black color as you can see here so then i'm going to be separating my hair into four different sections and you also want to make sure that you're wearing a shirt that's um, older that you don't mind getting messed up and also a towel that you don't mind getting messed up as well because if um, dye falls on it it's no way to get it out so I start out by adding dye to the perimeter of the section that I'm working with and then I insert the applicator tip squeezing the bottle to cover my root area and then after rubbing that in I separate it into smaller sections focusing more on the ends of my hair and I'm just adding dye to the ends and rubbing it in until I don't see any more red. So now that I've finished with all four sections, I go back to the first section and I kind of just run my fingers through it and check to make sure that I haven't missed anything. And I'm going to do that with all four sections and then I'll be completely done. You want to make sure that you rinse out the dye completely before adding any product. I used the Eden Body Works Cold Wash, the deep conditioner and the conditioner that came with the dye. Um, most people won't recommend using a shampoo right after dyeing your hair, but I like to make sure that the dye is completely out of my hair. So I use the cold wash, which isn't as harsh. And as you can see, now my hair is nice, moisturized, and it just looks so much better than it did before. I'm going to be doing a flat twist style. You first want to start out by making a defined part. I'm going to be using the Miel Organics Leave-In Conditioner and Twisting Souffle. It smells really, really good. The conditioner is lightweight and the twist and souffle is really thick and creamy, almost like a pudding. After adding the products, I'm then gonna detangle my hair using my Denman brush so that it'll be easier to manage when parting my hair for the flat twist. So I just made that little section off to the side so that on the back part of my hair I can just part straight down. I'm going to be flat twisting my hair and then rolling the ends. It's kind of hard to explain how to flat twist but um, I'm going to show you three different twists that I did on this style. Um, you basically just do like a two stranded twist, 
but you're gonna be grabbing hair as you go down um, I hope this video helps you at least get a picture of kind of how to do it and maybe you can just practice they don't have to be perfect the part doesn't have to be perfect because once you unravel it it really won't matter the light pink perm rods to roll my ends i didn't add any more product but if your hair feels dry you can add a little more of the twisting souffle I also wanted to mention that I don't twist it all the way down to the end. I twist it about an inch to a half of an inch and then I just roll the rest onto the roller. I coat my hands in olive oil to cut down on frizz and help my style last throughout the week. I really enjoyed taking this style down because it only took me about 7 minutes as opposed to 30 plus minutes when I do a perm rod set or a two strand twist out and I have to separate each curl. As you can see, I'm just unraveling the twist and running my fingers through it and that's literally all you have to do. lay down my edges I use the coconut edge glaze and eco styler gel and then um, I just use my toothbrush to help smooth it down oh my god this is literally such a big difference I hope you guys can see what I see and if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time bye